It's 451 in your health headlines this morning. There is a breakthrough for those who need blood stem cell transplants. With more, here's ABC's Robin Roberts. This morning, new hope for thousands of patients in need of a blood stem cell transplant. We want to thank you all for joining us on our fight to help find Amelia a bone marrow transplant donor. Like Amelia Johnson, who at nine years old was in the fight of her life. After being diagnosed in November 2021 with acute myeloid leukemia, a cancer of the blood and bone marrow. She started on pretty much six months of chemo and given how aggressive it was, radiation to the whole body was also needed. Amelia would need a blood stem cell transplant for her best chance at a life-saving cure, but the odds were stacked against her. Amelia is half black and half Indian, so they warned us that it would probably be difficult finding her a full match, if it was even possible. Ethnically diverse patients with blood cancers and disorders historically have had less than 50% chance of finding a fully matched transplant. But new research led by NMDP, formerly Be The Match, suggests these odds are improving that a fully matched donor is no longer needed. It just generates uh, great opportunities for patients in need of a life-saving transplant who in the past didn't have this opportunity. The research is really making things that 10 years ago we thought were impossible, now possible. Chapter two of my story begins today. I'm being admitted for my bone marrow transplant. Thanks to the new treatment options and medical advancements, doctors finding 23-year-old Cassidy, Amelia's partially matched optimal donor. And on June 3rd, 2022, Amelia, undergoing a successful blood stem cell transplant. Our miracle came true, and we have Cassidy to thank for everything. We have our Amelia here with us because of her. Today, Amelia is thriving, and her family hopes to encourage more people to sign up for the registry and stay committed when called. The future is bright, and Amelia is proof. With science, technology, and more young and healthy donors, all patients will be able to receive their life-saving cell therapy. And that future is very near. One of the most crucial things about this new research is that it helps address the ethnic disparities in getting that transplant. Well, our coverage of health news can also be found at WQAD.com. Head to our website and you'll find your health in the search bar at the top of the page. In fact, you can find all of our your health stories in that section of WQAD.com.